makeup. I have my hair up in a ponytail because I just slept with it in a ponytail since it's not too clean right now. I'm waiting for Lyle to come over because we are about to go get dinner. He is surprising me with dinner today because we've had a long week. So we're going to get dinner tonight in Little Italy, he said. Hair, I need to do some dry shampoo. I feel like it's a little dirty. Yeah, I don't know. I'm wearing this bodysuit from Revolve. I love the lace-up details. And these seven jeans, I'll link below for you guys. I love them and I love the like... Um, slit at the bottom and they just are very long and they flare out and then I'm wearing my Louboutin boots That I love dearly They're like this on the side So they have really cute buckles This is the final look And You should almost be here. He texted me that he is 10 minutes away. So I'll show you where we go for Guess dinner what we just got Ooh, A little puppy Say hi Look at him! Say hi. You know how I told you I was supposed to go to dinner? Well, Lyle comes in with a little puppy. Say hi. Say hi. I literally am so excited right now. Mm -hmm. He's only eight weeks? Yeah, eight weeks. And now we gotta pick a name. Say hi. And I'm so excited. I'm literally filled with love right now. Say hi. <laughs> oh, I don't wanna step on him. Where is he? He's down there somewhere. Where'd he go? Okay. Cutie. Oh, there's a big dog. <laughs> I'm melting. Lyle came stocked with all the supplies from the pet store, so we're gonna have to figure out what to do as new parents. This is our first round at this. We have no idea what to do. Naomi is playing with the cutie right now, and my duty is about to be setting this all up. We can't sleep with him yet. Okay. I don't think it's proper you protocol. Sure that, he might have to pee in the bed. It's not happening. Make, we, we sure that he, he needs to be he potty to trained. Oh sleep. my gosh, so Go ahead. As long as they wake up, they have to use the bathroom. Right, but what if he wakes up before we wake up? What if you roll over? I think it's. We're not gonna roll over. Roll over. I think we should just. I think you're not. Why would you sleep in the living room? With the dog. Alright, what about me? All right, guys, so it's been 30 minutes since I posted the story, and we already have so many responses. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm going to share some of them with you. First one is Barney, Chip, Bear, Gigi, <laughs> Brownie, oh, that's cute, Butters, Toffee, Bert, Senna, Romeo, Shy, Cashmere, Lyle says Prince, Girly, oh, Someone said I love Prince. Forte. Oh, he is gonna be a little fashion fashion king. And then Teddy Bear. Okay, we're gonna be waiting for some more, right? Did any of those ring any flashing lights? We can also suggest Coco. I like Coco. Wow, that's cute. With this cutie. Bright and early because he woke us up at 6 a.m. Just would not sleep. Hair is crazy. Good morning, guys. My little Prince and I are headed downstairs right now to pee. Come on, Prince. He's scared of going outside. Please come for me. Do I need to pick you up again? Oh, gosh. You are just not listening and not peeing. You are doing neither, honey. <laughs> Why are you so cute but you don't listen? <laughs> I'm dying. What? What are you telling me? I think his name is gonna be Prince for now. I think we're like 80% on it. I'm trying to force him to go pee outside so he can be potty trained, but he is not listening. And I feel like it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle potty training this one because he just will not. He's not wanting to walk around. He just wants me to like hold him so maybe it's because he's only eight weeks we gotta give him some time right buddy i believe in you wow the sweatshirt is matching that taxi <laughs> i just noticed that um i'm gonna try just walking him and hopefully the pee will start to come i just got home and i did a little trader joe's shopping trip that i figured i'd share with you so the first thing i got are these chicken tiki samosas yeah, 
I love these and I eat them with yogurt. They're so good. You bake them in the oven and deliciousness. Next is the Penang curry. I love this quickly, like on the go. Peanut butter blondies. They have peanut butter with strawberry filling and it's like an ice cream dessert. I love anything sweet. So I had to try these when I saw them. They just sound so good and kind of different because I'm tired of all the desserts I've been getting. Speaking of desserts. Trader Joe's did a cookies and cream light ice cream version. Looks like this. I am so excited to try this. I am an ice cream lover. Like I will do anything for ice cream. I love ice cream so much. I can eat it. It's the key to my heart. I can eat it all the time. It's dangerous. So I always have ice cream in the fridge or in the freezer because I go through pints. Um, vegetable fried rice. I love mixing this. Lyle really loves when I do this with the... Uh, no, not this one. Where is it? Oh, right down here. So I'll mix this. It's like my version of uh, Chinese food from Trader Joe's. I'll mix the Kung Pao chicken. It's backwards. Okay, Kung Pao chicken with the vegetable fried rice. And it's really good. And I'll add like eggs in there too. So once the fried rice is done, I'll mix in like two, three, four, five eggs. <laughs> and then I'll cook the Kung Pao, Kung Pao chicken and then just put it on top of the rice. It's really good. And I also love this kimchi rice as well. So, oh my gosh. Had to get these dark chocolate peanut butter cups because I love dark chocolate more than light milk chocolate. Um, had to get them. I saw them in the line when I was in line. They always do that. They always put the best treats when you're waiting in line. And they're also not too expensive. So it makes you like feel like you just have to get it. These remind me of when I was a child. They're ghost and bats crispy potato snacks. And they're so good. I will go through a whole bag in one sitting. If I'm watching Netflix or something, it's over. I um, also love these ones. Obviously, I'm a chip lover. I love ice cream. I love chips. It's really bad. But the ghost pepper potato chips are so good. They're spicy, but they don't taste like your typical spicy chips because there's something about the ghost pepper. It's like a different flavor. So it's like a different kind of spice. It's not too spicy, but oh my gosh, what do we have? Some fruit. Two bananas. I love my bananas green. These aren't as green as I would prefer, but they didn't have greener ones. So settle for those. Um, oh, we have blueberries. I do have some fruit in here. Um, we have an avocado. This mango looked bomb.com, had to get it. We got some apples. These are the gala, I really like the gala apples. Yeah, so these are the gala apples. And then, what is it, oh. I, Walked past, past, I walked past this and I had to have it. It is the Supreme Brie. Look at this. Can you guys see? Is it focusing? Hello. Um, why isn't it? Oh, there we go. Do you guys see this gooiness? The inside of the Brie. I can't. I'm so excited for this. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. It's creepy. I love cheese. I will die for cheese. Oh, another apple. It's the Gala apple. So I got three apples. Amazing, so this is everything I got from Trader Joe's. My counter looks like a mess right now, but I do my Trader Joe's runs about once a week, and I did a big one last week, so today's just kinda like things I ran out of because I eat so often and I needed more of, otherwise I can't move on with my life. Hmm? He loves toes. Hmm? You, wanna, you don't wanna eat my food, but you wanna eat your toes, huh? Where are my toes, huh? All right guys, Lyle is over here working. <laughs> this is a mess. We have a bunch of boxes set up over there trying to cage Prince, but he just was not having it. Yeah, so this is the current Sunday situation. Once Lyle and I finish some work, we're gonna go for a little walk, take him out, take him to Lyle's apartment to see his second home. And yeah, and right now he's just been biting the table so much. I don't know how it doesn't hurt his teeth, but He's so cute. Aren't you so cute? Oh my gosh, I'm melting. <gasps> Babe, he's eating my sneakers. <gasps> Prince. We're going for a little walk. Can we tell everybody who just peed inside the apartment? 
for the sixth time. Who won't pee outside on the grass? Prince. Prince is a bad boy. <laughs> he has been such a bad boy. He'll learn though. Every time we take him outside, he just keeps begging me to hug him and hold him. And I'm like, Prince, that is not how we walk outside. We are off to go get Lyle's suit from the tailor. And we have little Munchkin with us right here. He's so cute. <laughs> Babe, are you so excited for our puppy? You're so, so tall. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> he is so excited. He has his little book bag. Little smarty pants. Smarty pants number two right here. Prince has his first little photo shoot. We just finished taking photos with I don't know if he loves me or hates me right now, but. Say hi. We'll reward him after, right, baby? Say hi. <laughs> Why are you so cute? Yes, you're kissing daddy. I'm gonna give him a snack of being a good boy. Hey guys, it is Monday morning. We switched his food into this little um, container because he, I think his bowl is just too big. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. He has been biting all of my shoes. Yesterday I wore these nice sneakers and he decided to play with the shoelaces. Right now I'm wearing my Gucci loafers and he is biting them. So we're gonna need to talk about this. We have potty pads everywhere, hoping that we can teach him to pee on the pad. It's definitely been a, he keeps biting me, it's crazy. Why are you like that? I know, I know it's your teeth, I know it's your teeth, you bad boy. Say hi, Prince. Hey, All right, we are headed to the store right now. The closest store to us, Prince and I are walking, and he is being such a good dog. He is being such a sweetie, right, babe? People say he shouldn't sleep in our bed so soon, but he's just been doing so well. Our new dilemma now is he bites a lot, but he is only eight weeks. So we're going to be patient with him, but we're going to let him lay with us in bed for a little bit. And then we might put him down But we have his whole set. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. <laughs> Are you being camera shy? Guys, Prince has been dying to go under my bed, and now I realize why. He's sleeping. I have all these extra like blankets and pillows under my bed because I don't know where else to put them. And he's sleeping down there. Just left my apartment. I'm out here shooting with Carrie, and this is the look I am wearing today. We are doing a quick shoot kind of around my apartment. And then I just left Prince at home for the first time. It made me so sad because when I closed the door, he just follows me everywhere and I had to like push him back inside and he started crying and like whimpering and it literally broke my heart. Just got back and little Prince told him he was crying, you guys. It literally melts my heart seeing him. I love you so much. You were such a good boy, except you peed off the pad, but you're forgiven. So we got back, but he was a really good boy and he was in his crate and uh, Carrie will tell you, he was cr like crying and making so much noise. We are okay. back. And he was so happy, he was falling ever, I know. Oh my God. How am I God. supposed to leave him again? I have no idea. We're here at a cafe about to shoot and I didn't want to leave this little guy inside again, so we decided to bring Prince with us. Right, buddy? And he's he so knows. nice because he's scared of being outside, so he is like very patient and quiet, and it's perfect. I wanted to give you a little, excuse me, he will not stop biting me. He is such a bad boy right now. He has so much energy. It is early on a Tuesday morning. 
I'm gonna have to put him down. I'm sorry. He keeps biting me. Bad boy, go down here. So he was actually such a good boy today because aside from him biting me nonstop, he was home alone today for the second time. I left him yesterday a little bit while I was shooting with Carrie and he was only home alone for about an hour or so. And then today I left him home for about two hours, two and a half hours, I think it was max. And oh, he's peeing on his pee pad again. You're learning so quick, buddy. Oh, he's so proud of himself. You're not coming up here right now. Your pee pee is wet. So I left him home. I had a quick meeting this morning. So I fooled him a little bit and made him his favorite food. And I left it and like snuck out. He saw me sneak out, but he didn't make any noise. And yesterday he kind of cried. So he's just been such a good boy and I'm so proud of him. He's learning so quick and I can tell he's such a smart dog and he is such a people pleaser. If I reward him and show him that he did something that makes me proud of him, he will just continue doing it. So him peeing on the pee pads has been the best thing ever and it's really taken so much stress off of me because he's not peeing everywhere and the apartment's not going into shambles so that's really exciting and not what i thought would happen i quickly wanted to show you what i've been doing for prince's food because as you can tell he's loving it and he's been eating so much more now that i changed up his diet um so this is the food that the breeder gave us to be honest i don't know what's in here but apparently it's something that's good for him we got some just like fresh cooked chicken and I make sure to not give him any of the skin. As you can tell, I've taken the skin off because it has spices and seasoning and I don't want it to upset his stomach. And then we give him this, what is it? Oh, Rachel Ray Nutrish. Yeah, it's this dog food. And this is the hearty beef stew that he loves so much. So what I'll do is I'll mix this with a little bit, maybe like two teaspoons of his food and then several pieces of just cut up chicken breast and I mix it all in here and he devours it and loves it so much and I find him to really love eating if I do this. Otherwise, if I just give him this dry food, he will starve. We're on our way to the pumpkin patch. This cutie has been napping the whole time. Lyle got Prince the cutest little sweater and they are both matching. This is actually my first pumpkin patch and I figured I wanted to come because I'm dying to see what it's about and it's also really cute to take photos of Prince here as our first family trip. This belted dress with leather shorts, my Fendi tights, and then Dolce Vita booties. Say hi. Say hi. You're such a lover boy. <laughs> Prince. Oh wow, he's finally walking. Why don't you Alright, we're getting uh, food. Prince is being a little naughty right now. <laughs> <laughs> I got penning curry and Lyle got sausage fried rice. This is Prince's first vet visit and he's been such a good boy. Right, Prince? He avoided getting his temperature taken, so the doctor will have to do that because the nurse could just not do it because he kept moving. And Lyle and I are actually headed to dinner. I don't know where we're going, but. We are off to the city right now to get dinner for our anniversary. It's our one year anniversary tonight and it's pouring outside. Bill brought me to the cutest Serbian restaurant because he said it would probably be the closest thing to Bulgarian food because there's no Bulgarian restaurants in New York City, which is so sad. <laughs> Oh, oh. 